Hey pigs! Hey pigs! Hey pigs! All right, good morning. Uh, thank you guys for joining us this morning and watching our videos. But today is an exciting day today because we're gonna be moving our two sausage sisters, our two pigs, out on grass this morning. We just fed all of our meat chickens. One thing that I love seeing is chickens on grass and also pigs on grass. Hey, pig, 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 pig. All right, we're gonna get you out of here today. I have not fed them this morning yet, so we need to get them out so that way we, we can feed them. And I think the key is, is to have a hungry pig when you're moving them. We're not moving them very far. We're gonna start the fence here. We have this pig netting and we're just gonna kind of move them out in this area. That's the fence I trained them on earlier in the week. So they should be afraid of the fence. Our other pig fence. What if we started like right here? So we have the sides here. So we're, we're kind of creating a chute here. Even though I've been training them on a bucket, we all know what happened last time with the brothers. Here, bro. Sometimes the bucket don't work. Trying to go out as further as we possibly can, give them more grass area. And really, it's just baby steps, you know? I don't want to take them out too far. <laughs> just to get them a little, just to try to get them used to this. I think next time I build this, I'll build sides right here. Even if it's just that high, so that way I don't have to put the netting all the way out here. So that way I'll have more room to just spread out the netting and maybe start the netting here. Cause I'm really just worried that they're just gonna come out and then just shoot out this way. I need to make a new water for them too. So I don't have to keep on using the one that's in there. New feeder. Actually, I probably don't even need to do this right now this new water because they're still going to have access to inside there but if I want to move them further out where well, they don't have access to their shelter I'm going to have to bring their portable shelter uh, where they're at so they have more shade and then get a new water clamp that on there Let's turn that on so we're at four 6,000. 6, so that's 8,000 right there. I'm just testing all the way around, make sure we got a hot wire here. So we're looking at about six to 8,000. There we go. There's eight. Looks like, looks like we're doing good here, guys. Something we did not have last time when we were moving our two brothers uh, is this pig board. So I'm hoping that this could help us or kind of, this is for to guide them if we want them to go to a certain area so they're not just looking at my legs. Uh, they're looking at an actual wall. Uh, but hopefully we won't have to use this. I mean, we shouldn't have to use this now because this is, we just made a, a larger area. I had some buckets of feed here already soaking so I put them outside. I, was, I didn't want them to be around. I don't want them to get into it and make a mess. Alright, piggies. Hey, pigs. Hey, pigs. Hey, pigs. Hey, pigs. Straight for the grass, not the food. Hey, pigs. That's funny, they're not going to the food. All right, so far so good. That wasn't so bad. I want them to touch the fence though, actually. Up over it, no, you can do it. I'm scared. I don't think I can do it. 
Come on, I have a camera, so it's more funner. Maybe if I had this one. Just go like this. See, I don't know. Look at I don't. I won't do it. You gotta commit. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> All right. It's off. Okay, turn it back on. They're still scared. They're still a little scared of us. I purposely left this area um, long on the grasses before I mowed. Um, so that way they'll have more access to the grass and all the different other grasses that are in here. Some clover. Hey pigs. Hey pigs. Last year, when we had our portable shade structure out here, the two pigs preferred to lay in the big shelter rather than the little one because this spot right here is gonna get sunny a little bit later, so I suspect they'll just go inside and lay out for the rest of the day. For the next four months, we're gonna be moving the pigs in and out of this structure because if you leave them in one spot and if they're big enough, bigger than what they are now, uh, they will tear up this spot, spot. This spot will be muddy in about two weeks. Every two weeks, we move them on various spots of the property and then move them in and out of this structure. They might be in here for the next two weeks. They might be another spot for another two weeks. Also, it depends if it's raining or not. If it's heavily raining, then definitely this is gonna be muddy. But since they're still little, um, it's gonna take a lot for them to dig up this whole area. I've seen them go up to this netting a couple times and they just like stop and then they look and they, they just turn around. <laughs> All right, it's later on in the afternoon. It's a hot one today, one of the hotter days. So I'm going to hose off the pigs. I never thought I would have such great joy of hosing down pigs. It's one of those things where if you have a, a horribly bad day, if you, have, if you have a stressful day like at work or any, anything, the best cure for that is hosing down two pigs. Hey pigs, hey pigs, I'm coming. Hey pigs. Hose is not long enough. I always need a backup hose. So I got a power off nozzle right here. And then I can hook up a hose attachment without having to turn off the whole water off. It's a little hot. Let's let it run. Let's see if they enjoy this. Hey pig! Hey pig! Hey pig 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 pig! Here they come. Hey pig 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 pig! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah! It's like a wet dog. Hey, pig, pig, pig. Hey, pig, 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 pig. Nothing more enjoyable, guys. Nothing. Like, they look so happy with the water hose. Like, hosing down pigs. That's where it's at. All right, we'll check the back on those guys a little bit later. I think it's dinner time already. I want to hose them down some more tonight. <laughs> All right. Some leftovers. We got a whole chicken that was cooked today. We got some shepherd's pie, carnivore style, hot dog, cheese. What do you guys got, Penelope? Broccoli and rice and chicken. All right. To tell you the truth, I was kind of bored of steak. <laughs> so now I'm like kind of like changing it up. I'm trying to, we're trying to do new, different menus. Hey, pigs. What did you do to my yard? Oh man, he tore out those wood chips for sure. <laughs> yes. Whoa, he almost touched it. So we heard them, we heard one of these pigs touch the fence for sure. We're up at the house and we, we heard them squeal. The pigs are still eating their feet. That's still from this morning. Whoa, scared me. <laughs> Let's see how this dirt's coming up here? You gotta make sure that's off of the fence, otherwise it could possibly short out and not work. 
Yes, piggies. Yes, piggies. You did good today. You did good today. You didn't run off on me. They started rooting up here. This is the damage they did today. Some rooting up. They're pooping back here. You guys did to my chip pile. Started rooting here. Pretty knocked this whole thing down and started rooting all up in here. Don't really want them going too crazy back here or over here uh, making the muddy mess because just in case I need to bring the car in here with wood chips. But so I'll probably end up just kind of moving them out. But since they are attached to the shelter pretty much, uh, I'm gonna probably just put them inside for the night. Just to be safe. I'm gonna clean up this bowl for them. Give them a fresh clean bowl. There's some chicken fat in here. They're gonna love it. Hey pigs, hey pigs, hey pigs. <laughs> Hey, piggy, 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 piggies. There we go. <laughs> Good job, pigs. Good job. That's our little bedtime snack. <laughs> that was a fairly easy day for them, man. Didn't get a chance to make this new water. That's for another day. I was pretty much editing like two videos today. I just posted a video today, so I'm editing another video. So this is the way it goes sometimes. They did not dig in the grass too much today. It was all really only when I started wetting it, wetting them with the hose that they started really rooting. I don't want them to go too crazy on it. And they're still too little too, so it's gonna take them a while, I think. <laughs> Check out this landscape fabric, guys. It took us a while to kind of wrap our minds around how this was going to work, but man, no weeds. Right about now, into our growing food season is when we would be overrun by weeds, pretty much. Uh, but but we haven't picked one weed yet. Look at this row. Weeds, because we didn't put no landscape fabric on it. Those are cucumbers. We got a bunch of cucumbers growing back here. Go, Penelope, go! Yeah! I might hurt myself, Penelope. Do 10 seconds. All right, all right. Who's the hoop champion? 1997. <laughs> Look at that, Penelope. Oh! 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 Look at that, I'm still going. I'm still going. Give me a sandwich. Give me a sandwich. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! Hoping champion.